you know, you've been in PR and communications for about 10 years. Um, and a lot of people choose this job because it's kind of, you know, appealing. It looks really nice. It sounds really nice, right? It sounds really um, nice. <laughs> but the, the, the reality of the matter is deadlines and client expectations can be really overwhelming. <laughs> and mm. so, you know, how are you able to survive in this position for so long? Well, there is a quote that I really, really like, which is a bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of the branch breaking because her trust is not on the branch, but on its own wings. So for me, it's pretty much similar because I think I am well prepared for the industry and I have a passion for the industry. I've been in this industry for years and I know pretty much uh, most of the in, uh, ins and outs of the uh, of this career. I know how to work with my clients, doing some planning. And um, so I love what I'm doing. And I feel like my education background, as well as my research, helped me a whole lot in delivering successful PR campaigns in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia. So that makes me where I am today. I am pretty um, uh, self-confident in uh, in what I'm doing, and uh, that helps me to stay in the business for, for quite a while. That's super interesting. You chose to do a master's uh, in Australia, and then you pursued your PhD um, in PR and communications at Bond yes. University, right? Yes. Um, a yes. lot of people would probably ask, you know, like, to, to be successful in this field, don't you need to kind of like be there on the street um, and, you know, dive into uh, all of the, the things that people are doing? Like, you know, how would doing a master's or a PhD really help you in the industry? Well, that is a very interesting question. Uh, first of all, I did my master's degree because I just wanted to... Um, I just wanted to take a step forward in my career. Um, beforehand, I did my bachelor degree in America, so I was kind of exposed to the American way of doing PR. And then I came back to Vietnam doing my job, and I realized most of our uh, most of my clients were from overseas. So it would be helpful for me to understand public relations, uh, how they uh, how they understand, how they feel about this uh, this industry from from the multicultural viewpoints. And uh, at the same time, I wanted to do a master's degree to, to understand like, um, deep, uh, to deepen my knowledge in this field. And I chose Australia because I've never been to Australia and I heard marvelous things about it. I chose Bond University. It had an accelerated program uh, for the master's degree. It was really helpful. It was intensive as well, but I really liked it. That's that's really really exciting, and it, and you know what a what an interesting and, and very inspirational story to kind of hear from, um, of somebody who's able to, to just take those opportunities and just turn it into something that worked for them. So super happy that you had, uh, you know that that experience of being able to do that, and and super happy that you're able to share. So right now, you're not only a businesswoman, you also are a lecturer at Van Lang University, and you're doing this also, you know, sometimes physically here, sometimes remotely. Um, how do you keep yeah. your interests in both fields and how do you, how do you balance both, both of that? Well, I just have to balance, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, 10 years into this career, I found out that not only I want to um, not only I want my business to prosper, I also want to nurture the next generation of public relations practitioners. And I'm doing so by first of all mentoring my colleagues in my company so I could help them um, further their career, answer any questions they may have, and also help guide them into uh, the different pathways that they could take in this career. I help them realize their own strengths and weaknesses and what could be improved. But, uh, but then I realized, yeah, I realized again many times, but then I realized that um, those are people who are, who are already in the public relations industry. I wanted to do something for the younger generation who, who is still thinking, okay, should I take public relations? Should I take marketing? Should I take any other career path? So I, um, 
so I chose to teach. I chose to venture myself in um, university teaching. So I would meet younger people and try, I'm still trying, to inspire them about what public relations really is, what, in, what is in store for them, and uh, to help them in any way I can to share my passion, to share my experience and my uh, my daily life being uh, being in this career so they can see it and they can choose for themselves if this is a suitable career for them. And that's why I started my career as a lecturer.